You've looked at countless cases where you analyze human beings, whether they're lying or not, whether they've abducted or killed their own children. Yeah. What's the most fascinating or chilling case that you remember that you analyzed? Aaron Caffey. And it was the true embodiment of what a psychopath is. And she had her parents murdered and her little brother, who was a, a child. And her boy, she convinced her boyfriend to do all this. And the boyfriend was not a psychopath. No, he, I think he was just super suggestible and she knew how to pull he all was, those. He was just really, yeah. <laughs> really into her. <laughs> Yeah, and, and Dr. Phil interviewed her, and you could see those eyes, and like, just, I never, I've studied psychopathy for a long time, but I never felt it until that video where you could just feel that, that that's not a human being, almost. Like, there's no human in there. That's, that's a wild creature that has no, that views a human being the same as throwing away a paper cup. So you just see through the behavior of human beings, little signs in their behavior, in their facial expressions, in their tone, the words they use, whether someone is a psychopath or whether someone's lying, whether someone's concealing information. What what did you see in her that gave that away? And and I mean, how could what are the what could we look for? The the horrifying truth is that you can't spot a psychopath until after they've done something like that. So you could have the 50 best behavior profilers in the world, the top 50, and 99% we would be inaccurate in predicting who is a psychopath and who's not. They're so hard to spot. I teach a course for women on how to spot narcissists on a first date, and that's a lot easier. Where if you ask them about an, an ex-relationship, everything is someone else's fault. They're always the victim. Narcissists will never have friends that are local. They'll never have local people that are their friends. They're always out of town. They're, I've got my friends are in another city. Uh, so they, they have a hard time maintaining relationships. So you'll see a lot of that. And that's like the number one trend. You'll see very similar things with psychopaths. And psychopaths are attracted to large cities. Uh, in, in my analysis, uh, Dr. Robert Hare has done most of the research on psychopaths. In my analysis, I think that cities are not just attracting psychopaths. I think that cities are helping to manufacture them. In the book I have coming out, I have a chapter in there called Psychopath Factories, where I talk about the elements of a city and how it manufactures psychopathy. There wasn't psychopathy before, or at least not to the ex same extent, and it breeds that, it increases that? I think it does. Let's talk about one thing that'll, that'll make sense right away. You've heard of the bystander effect, right? So for your listeners, th what this means is if I'm in a big city like New York or something like that and I get hurt and I'm laid on the ground and I'm wounded and I'm begging for help, the more people that are around me, the less likely I am to get help. Like people will take pictures, they'll take videos, they all assume that somebody else is going to call 911, but they'll stand there and watch. So if I took this behavior in isolation and I told you a story about a person watching another person get stabbed and they stand there and watch they watch in interest you would call that person a psychopath when you get into a large city that behavior is common that is the bystander effect is the behavior of psychopaths so uh, these uh, us not relying on reputation and we're not in a tribe anymore our brains are not wired to handle millions of people they're wired to handle a tribe of about 150 so when we get to a big city, we have no capacity for empathy for that many people. So it gets shut off. Our brains say, I can't do that. And empathy goes away. That's why we're, we're in LA right now. Um, we're driving around. We just got off the freeway. We shared a car here together. People are bad drivers because there's no reputation. You're never going to see those people again. I don't have to rely on reputation. That means I don't care what other people think. So more psychopathy. It's, it's, I think psychopathy is a spectrum. And some people view it as a diagnosis of you have to fit this checklist of all these things to be a psychopath. You can get close, right? Which means that there's a line. There's some kind of a spectrum there. So what is it that you saw in that case that made it that specifically the most 
frightening, chilling, fascinating case for you? The way that she recounted it was the same way that if I described picking up broccoli at a grocery store is how she described all of that and the horror that happened. She burned the house down uh, afterwards, or her boyfriend did. But she uh, made sure to rescue her dog, and she was holding this dog while her boyfriend did all this. And you could see zero emotion on her face. And you could see these little defense mechanisms. She's a teen, I think, at the time. Uh, these little defense mechanisms that she'd built throughout her life of looking innocent at Dr. Phil with these little innocent eyes and knowing that her looking like an innocent little girl was a learned, deceptive, calculated behavior is, is horrifying to me. Wow. So psychopaths, you can't spot them because they're so good at imitating certain behaviors? They're very good at it. Wow. But one of the, one of the best ways to start... And I'm never going to say, like, here's the list on how to do that. Because if anyone tells you they're like, here's the way to spot a psychopath, they're full of it. Um, but you can start spotting a psychopath by looking at a person's face and seeing if they mirror your expressions. If I'm saying something exciting and that's cool, see how your eyebrows mm -hmm. just went mm -hmm. up, right? Yeah. That's called an eyebrow flash reflex. I'm not a psychopath. I swear. <laughs> as far as you know. <laughs> so... If, if I'm saying something sad, like my aunt just uh, got put in the hospital or something like that, and you see somebody's face kind of fall a little bit, you're seeing a mirrored emotion in other people's face. Sometimes psychopaths don't know how to react. So you'll either see a lack of affect where their, their face has no reaction to it, or you're going to see an inappropriate response. So they'll smile on accident because they're trying to fake an expression. And if I want to tell you, let me put you in the mind of a psychopath really quick. And this is a story from Dr. Hare. So I want you to imagine you live in a big city and you go down and you say, you know, I'm going to go get some fried chicken. And I walk down and it's two blocks away and you're walking to the fried chicken place and you're walking by a car accident and a mom is bleeding out of her head. She's holding her infant that's dying in her arms. It would, it would make anybody cry, you know, like... It, it's horrifying. Just me even talking about the simulated situation has been making me emotional. But you walk by the sit situation and you stare at it for about a minute or two minutes and you look at the people around and in your head you're going, fried chicken. That's it. And you go pick up your fried chicken, you go home and you stare at your face in the mirror going like this trying to mimic all the facial expressions that you just saw from the crowd that was observing this accident. That is so freaky. <laughs> yeah. That is a movie scene you just described. If anyone, if there's any directors out there who want to make a video about a, a movie about a psychopath, this is the scene that you start with. That's what you need. Yeah. Wow. What do you guys think? Have you ever met someone you suspected might be a psychopath? What made you think that? Please leave your comment below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, you might want to share it with a like-minded friend. Thank you and as always, stay blessed.